How's it going, Pokemon trainers? I'm Trainer Connor, and you're going to be watching another Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi Pokemon battle video today. If you enjoy this Wi-Fi battle versus Fresh Ogun, make sure you like this video and subscribe. This is my official overlay. I hope you guys like it. I'm not going to change it until sun and moon come out. I've been experimenting and it's just been crazy trying to come up with different designs and overlays and this one is by far my favorite. So hope you guys like it and of course the high quality is back from I think a few weeks ago when I posted my last battle versus Fresh Ogun. So uh, we are doing Ubers today. We've got um, some really powerful Pokemon up front. So this should be really fun. So Fresh Odin is going to start out with his Primal Kyogre. I'm going to start out with Protein Greninja Slick, which is actually my physically based Greninja. Um, so it has like U-Turn, uh, Night Slash, Waterfall, and Ice Punch. So um, I could have gone with the Waterfall here, with the rain up, that would do a lot of damage, but I don't really want to stay in because I, I figured that Kyogre will go for a Thunder. I don't really have anything that could take a Thunder besides a Scalablade, the Aegis Slash, which is actually a shiny Aegis Slash I got from Wonder Trading. So that's really cool. I've been wanting to get that kind of Pokemon, but. Yes, very cool. So Scalblade, uh, unfortunately, is going to get KO'd very early in this game because two critical hits and a paralysis. That sucks, but I can't go into Rayquaza, Mega Evolve, and potentially get my Delta stream going and uh, KO the Kyogre. He actually switches out and goes into his Arceus. And Arceus has the ability to be uh, a different, kind of a different type, uh, that is, depending on the plate that it's holding. And I actually don't know what type the Arceus is, so it was interesting at the time I was trying to figure out what type the Arceus was. I, I just couldn't figure it out. Um, my guess is that it's Steel. Uh, but we see that this particular RCS is from the event that has the signature moves from Dialga and Palkia with the Spatial Rend, uh, War of Time, and Shadow Force. Also Judgment. That's RCS, uh signature move. So um, I go into Xerneas trying to uh, KO the RCS, but we come out short and we go for the Geomancy. And... Um, Here's where I find out that it has Shadow Force, which I can't attack it until it's visible on the screen. So I figured, okay, I can just go for another Geomancy because I will not be able to attack him. I can just set up some more. But holy crap, that Shadow Force does a lot of damage. And so I go with another Geomancy, which setting up with Xerneas like that, it's really threatening. But even after all that, Arceus is going to dodge my attacking moves and he's going to KO Xerneas, which I was really sad to see that. I was like, really? What happened there? Because I set up and I should be faster because my speed was quadrupled. But no, that's not going to be the case. Um, I'm going to go into Slick here. I can go the U-turn. KO him from that range of HP, and then we can go into Deoxys Defense. Which, I don't really have a grand opportunity to try out Deoxys Defense. Uh, it's really bulky, it has Nasty Plot, and I can go with that move right here. Here he brings in Hoopa Unbound, and of course, like I said, it's now Ubers, so we'll see him in action. 
we both set up nasty plots. Um, I don't have any super effective moves on this uh, Deoxys to hit the hoopla I'm bound with, but Dark Pulse, I was fishing for a, say, the, um, the flinch. Yeah, I was trying to go with the flinch chance. We do not get that, unfortunately. His magician ability allows him to steal my life orb, which is unfortunate because he's going to have extra power with his attacking moves. So here, I, I think my opponent was expecting me to U-turn because it's quite effective against Hoopa. And so he goes into Blaziken, I'm like, oh, that sucks, because I could have stayed in there and gone with a waterfall. Um, but no, we don't get a chance to do that. But this will give me a switch into a Mega Rayquaza. Now, even if the Blaziken is going to Mega Evolve and protect, I can still outspeed him with Dragon Dances. I was expecting him to, to protect right here, but he has Brave Bird, and by that damage, it, it's like, really? I, that does a lot of damage, but I, I guess that will help me out with the recoil, and I can KO him right back with an extreme speed. Um, Blaziken is frail to begin with, so I figured that a plus one E speed will KO Blaziken. Here's Glaceon, I think my opponent he has Blizzard, and of course Blizzard is decreased in accuracy when Delta Stream and Primordial Sea and the Desolate Land ability that Primal Kyogre, Primal Grugon get. All those moves like Thunder and Blizzard, their accuracy is decreased. So that fails for my opponent, I can KO Glacy on there. Uh, here's Primal Kyogre. I I could have gone with a dragon type move there. I don't know why I didn't go for it there, but um, instead I go with an exchange speed. I barely miss on the KO, which is a little bit un unfortunate there. I'm going to bring in Palkia. The last time I used Palkia in a Wi Fi battle, that was my 50 subscriber special from way back when. Uh, so it was nice pulling him out in action. Uh, here's Giratina, and Giratina is going to get destroyed by a, um, a Draco Meteor here. The item that I have on Palkia is the, uh, the, uh, orb for Palkia, which I believe that's the Agamemnon orb. Yeah. Uh, so I can switch up my moves. I'm not choice or anything. So I expected him to switch out. Or actually, he expected me to switch out. My bad. And uh, I can go into Slick. We've been U-turning this entire game. We're going to do that one final time. The KO Hoopa Unbound. And that is going to be the end of this battle. So, it was a weird battle. But I wanted to try out some legendary Pokemon there. And it turned out to be a really fun match. We got to see Hoopa Unbound. We got to see Primal Kyogre some. Greninja, Mega Rayquaza, and a little bit of Deoxys Defense and Palkia in this battle. So these were Pokemon that I just haven't gotten the chance to use them all that often. Uh, so that's the thing. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this match. Be on the lookout for week four of the ILL, which is going to be against Kai. Uh, so I'll have that battle up here in a few more days. Be on the lookout for that. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe. I'll see you guys all next time. Goodbye, trainers.